Nigeria is observing Mental Health Week. This year's theme is Let's Connect. Despite close family ties and communal living in Nigeria, mental health awareness is underrated in the country. The emotional care, especially for children and teenagers, is inadequate, leading to a lack of positive thinking among the youth. Here's a report by our correspondent, Louisa Olani. A UNICEF 2021 study reveals that one in six young Nigerians between 15 to 24 often feel depressed. They have very little interest in doing things or are worried, nervous or anxious. Globally, far too many children are burdened under the weight of unaddressed mental health issues. A UNICEF report shows that Nigerian children feel under most pressure to succeed globally. Coupled with the learn to grow up with a thick skin culture, it has contributed to children bottling up challenges, which impacts their mental health negatively. Which the president or the government should take care of the children because the way the children, they are the leaders of tomorrow, and if they don't take care of them, there are so many people are dying on the streets, fighting each other, using guns to attack each other. It's because of there is more, no welfare taking care of them. Everybody faces um, such kind of situations because most of the times you are, un you are unable to voice out your own opinions, especially when those around you give little or no concern to how you feel or what you want to express to what you want to express so then again most times people tend to bottle those feelings in well i do believe that yes it is good to have thick skin but there's also a difference between right and wrong it got to a point where um even just the culture alone even outside of school you would go out to parties with your friends and different things that happen, whether it's harassment, physical or sexual, or maybe people are like, it goes beyond teasing your friends because they're your friends. It's kind of like, now you're just bullying them. And it's like, it's become a culture where it's now, you, they want you to accept it. And when you get upset, they look at it as, why are you being upset? Like, we all went through it. But just because we all went through it doesn't mean that it is right. And things need to be done and people need to speak up. According to latest estimates by UNICEF, over one in seven between the age 10 to 19 are diagnosed with mental health problem globally. Almost 46,000 adolescents die by suicide each year, which is among the top five causes of death for the age group. And this is also according to UNICEF. Wide gaps persist between mental health needs and mental health funding as experts decry shortage of trained mental health practitioners. We don't have enough. There are many times when we're looking for mental health professionals and you find them in pockets. You find them in pockets. There should be a line where, you know, a child is going through something, especially the teenagers and preteens, especially preteens, especially teenagers. There should be a line where they can call or someone they can go to that is safe and trusted and won't abuse them because abuse is another issue that we have to deal with. That I won't abuse them and they can talk to in confidence and they know that their secret is safe with that person because a lot of people run their, their mouths so that's another thing with people that have mental health challenges they don't have someone they can trust or they don't feel they have someone they can trust so they bottle it up all in until it gets out of hand the theme for this year's um, children's mental health week is let's connect and this again is talking about how social interactions positive social interactions with friends families plays a good impact in helping with um, emotional and mental well-being. So we are now what we're seeing in practice now is the aftermath and consequences of the prolonged period of lockdown where people are isolated. And we now see children developing anxiety and various forms of phobia and not being able to, to cope with pressures of day-to-day -day life. So the theme of this year specifically is, is, is reminding us about the importance of connecting with our loved ones, family, friends, and faiths. According to a January 2022 WHO report, over 20 million Nigerians are currently suffering from various degrees of mental illness or disorder without psychiatric health care. A lot of youth don't even talk about mental health issues due to their fear of stigmatization. Raising a child can be challenging, even under the best circumstances. And observing changes in children that more serious health issues in the future. Many adults who seek mental health treatment reflect on the impact of mental disorders and societal pressure 
on their childhood and wish they had received help sooner in the past, as experts have called for vigilance amongst children and teenagers in their formative years. From Lagos, Nigeria, Louisa Olani, we on World is One.